though. How you doing? I'm back. I've been back for a couple of days, but uh, things around convention are just crazy and fun. And so I'm finally back home. I mean, I'm getting ready for another show in Phoenix. So I don't know when I'll be back live next again, other than to show you where we're at at the show. But I wanted to come on tonight and show you how generous Chalk Tour is at convention. Before I do that, I need to make sure I'm actually transmitting here. Let me go up and refresh. Sorry. Just refresh the screen a little bit so I'll know if I'm even live or not. Really. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, so I'm getting ready for a show in Phoenix, but I wanted to come on and, um, hey, Brenda, show you guys, since I haven't talked to you since I was at convention, I wanted to show you how generous Chocotour is. And yes, my mercantile shirt. I love this shirt. I think I have something on the back. Nope, not on this one. Um, but I wanna, let me see, let me get this going. Just show you how generous Chalk Tour was to us. You know, our tickets to go to that, I think were around $249. And let me show you all the stuff I came home with, the haul. It's a good haul. Let me just, I don't know. Maybe I need to lower this a little bit. Okay. Just for this part anyway. When I go to chalk, if I do chalk tonight, which I probably will. Um, anyway, the first thing we got was this amazing bag. And you can see the um, uh, little bird on that. So the, the theme of the convention was to fly, you know, spread your wings and fly. In this, we also got a book, Take Flight, which I didn't open. I saved things like this for incentives. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, so then, let's see, the first thing I got was at the leadership uh, training, which is, was amazing, but it was very hot in that room. And we got this transfer, which is exclusive. You got this. So that was one thing we got. Then um, in the general assembly, I won. Where is it? I had it earlier today. Hold on. It's under here. Nope. Well, one. What'd I do with it? Maybe it's this one. Nope, this isn't it either. I just had it earlier today. Anyway, I got the, the tin, um, the tin one. I can't remember what you call it. Uh, oh, here it is. Right here on the floor. I didn't win anything last year. There went my blow dryer. But this year they have um, a bunch of new surfaces. And I really love this surface. And I actually won it. Last year I didn't win anything. But that's okay because I still walked away with a lot of product last year. So that was um, day one and two. So at the end of two, we went to a make and take where we got three different surfaces. So we got this big um, Sylvie surface. I think it's, yeah, Sylvie. Um, I should put my glasses on. This is what happens when you get old. Uh, let's see. So this is a nine by 12 Sylvie. We got a six by 18 Odette. So this one has the black lining kind of around the frame. And then we got the big, um, it's like a cabinet. It's called a reclaimed drawer front. And that one, the chalking surface is six by 18. Hey, Mon. Hey, Brenda. Hey, John. And along with that, we've got I Will Love You Till the Cows Come Home, brand new transfer that they gave us. I spent my uh, night recording, so I didn't chalk that night. Farmhouse, I was recording my team and everybody else's team and taking pictures. And then we got this one, which is hot, hot coffee and baked fresh. So there's actually two transfers in that one, but it's a size um, C. And then we got another B size at the gala, which is where they present awards. This is also an exclusive transfer that won't be available anymore either. So I just wanted to show you all that fun stuff. 
I am going to chalk a little tonight. Let me do my first project. I'm gonna let me move this chair that's full of stuff now. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I didn't think that through very well. Let me just set this stuff down. Okay, there we go. I can see a little bit better. Just turn that over like that. Okay. So I got some little trays that I keep here. We're gonna do, um, so I wanna kinda start from the beginning of how to do a project because I have um, two new designers on my team. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you about these. So at Leadership, we got this um, Shimmer Raspberry Sorbet. And then um, on the last night, I think we got, um, it was kind of a, a mess. I should have actually put that on my survey. Uh, the way they divvied these up was kind of backwards. But anyway, I got a green one. Some people didn't get any. Some people got 10. I think it just depends on who you talk to that was giving stuff away. So I'm going to just move that a little bit farther. There we go. I think that's better. Maybe worse. We'll know in a second. Okay, hold on. Take a little drink. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so we're gonna do these. This is a pallet board. I actually love the pallet boards. Even though it is a chalk couture service, oh, we also have new scissors, I forgot. I also got this at the Make and Take, a branded uh, set of scissors. And um, even though this pallet board is from chalk couture, it's one that I will wax anyway, because I just wax almost everything nowadays my brother's pin here to open it up okay <laughs> I was doing the wrong end anyway that's funny hey Christy how you doing yep yep so I'm gonna put um, the shimmer raspberry sorbet which like what I said was an exclusive to us but before I do that I want to wax and the reason I'm waxing is because this is a porous surface and if I make a mistake or if I want to reuse this, I can actually wash it off if I, if I put a layer of wax on it. So, and I had a Sharpie. Hold on one second, there it is. So when you open up your transfers, you always wanna label them on the back so that you can easily Transfer trimmers, ha ha ha. Yeah, that's funny. So, I'm going to label this. And I'm gonna just turn it over and right on the back you got this. And what that does is it just makes it easier if you're doing a bunch of chalking and everything's wet. It makes it easier for you to um, find which uh, backing you need to put it back on. And if you don't write on it and you accidentally put it here, you probably lose your transfer. So I just wanted to ask everybody if they would please share this page publicly. I would appreciate it. Um, we're all small business people, so we're trying to survive and make, make a little money, you know, just like everybody else. But first I want to show you um, how to wax this board. So I use a Min Wax that you can get at any hardware store or Amazon, pretty much, pretty much anywhere you can get this. And uh, it's readily available. Hey, Christy Warden. Sorry to say hi to everybody here. Don't want to miss any. Hey, Celia. See who else is watching. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to take a cloth, any cloth, I'm going to just dip it in the wax and just put a really thin coat over this. And this will protect my transfer and also the surface. So if I don't do this and I put it on and I don't fuzz my transfer well enough, there's my fuzzing cloth. It's crazy around here because I'm getting ready for a show. I don't have my fuzzing cloth right here. Um, so if you don't fuzz it, what can happen is the transfer can actually stick because they are super sticky. They can actually stick to your surface and you don't want that. So then I, I just buff it a little bit. Some people wait like overnight to do this. I don't, um, and I've never had a problem. 
And I just realized my cousin cloth is, I thought it was ready. So crazy. So the reason you put it on the fuzzy cloth, like I said, is just to protect your transfer and the surface. You want to be able to use this transfer multiple times. The company says 8 to 12. And I've used them more than that, but that's what they say. So, Okay, I'm just going to go ahead. Three times should be good. My watch is telling me to breathe. <laughs> I love it. So next I'm just going to position it where I want it to go. Just by trying to center it. And I've got to move it this way. Sorry if that messes up your uh, view. I love this transfer. Oh, let's see. I probably should have buffed a little bit more. Feels very waxy. But in the long run, it will protect my surface and my transfer, which is what I want. I'll move it down a little bit more. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Karen. Hey, Jazz. Sorry, Jazlyn. <laughs> I probably I just shortened it. I don't know why. All right. So we have a um, angled squeegee that you just put right on. And can you hear the air bubbles moving out of that? That just makes sure that you don't get any blobs. Air bubbles turn into blobs. And actually, I think Cindy's on here, if she's still on here. She's the one helping me with the, the um, Bender event this weekend, which I'm excited about. I'm a little worried right here, because there's a little bit of a lip right there. I'm gonna have to just be careful when I go down there. Okay. So this is a brand new um, ink, I mean paste, sorry. And the shimmer paste have a little bit of a different formula. You really need to work the paste in because it's almost uh, slick. My phone's blowing up. These people get on messenger and they go crazy. Um, okay, let's see. And when I say these people, I mean these crazy chocolate people. I uh, love it. Okay. All right, I'm just double checking to make sure everybody's watching and paying attention. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna put my paste away. I actually kind of have a feeling I should have buffered that more. I'm just gonna have to be really careful right here. I don't know if you can see it from where you're at, but I can actually feel it. There's a little bit of a ledge or an edge there where it drops into the next one. It's not exactly even. I hope it'll work out. We'll see. If not, I can just wipe it off and try a different transfer or something. I usually try to open my bottles, my ink, and my paste away from my chalking area because sometimes there's little specks that fall off of dried, um, dried paste. So, yeah, I think what you can. Okay. And I've got some on me already. I'm a messy chalker, just so you know. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to grab a squeegee and get going on this. And I'm probably going to use this size. In fact, I'm just going to set it right there. I better stir it. So you want this the consistency of a yogurt or sour cream. Um, and like I said, these shimmers are really easy to work with. They're very fluid. So it gives you plenty of time. With a normal paste, sometimes you have to work quickly, especially in Arizona, so that it doesn't dry on you. So we're gonna get started. And we're gonna start, actually I'm gonna flip this from the bottom up because these are thicker and these are thinner so this will dry really fast. If I if I wasn't using shimmer I'd be really concerned but since I'm using the shimmer I'm not as concerned. Does that make sense? I'm more concerned about this little edge. 
really concerned. This transfer wasn't as sticky as most of them are. I'm not sure why. Or maybe it's the wax that's messing me up. I think I'm gonna buff it real quick just to make sure. So if I've got too much wax, it could cause a problem. And if, there we go. So yes, Chalk Tour is amazing. I stayed a little bit afterwards and uh, worked with my friend Jody. We did some things for our team. Um, having some challenges going on on my team to help them grow their business and get comfortable with social media and things like that. So it's been a busy couple of weeks. Sooner or longer than that. Seems like it's been way longer than that. I don't know why that thing's still moving. Okay, I'm gonna try the angled squeegee again, see if I can get this to lay down better. I don't want an air bubble. So, ha, huh, yeah, I'm a messy chalker, definitely for sure. Jazz, we need to, one of these, or, uh, hopefully you can come to our convention next year. It's in Orlando, which will be amazing. Um, I actually have uh, someone out there who will probably want me to teach a class while I'm out there once she finds out I'm there. So she's uh, building a like a retreat center and she wants to schedule a bunch of different crafters to come in and teach their craft. All right, here we go. So I loaded my squeegee. Now some people just put it on with the um, little spatula, but I, I prefer to use my squeegee unless I'm doing a big, big project. Oh, it's shimmery. I love this color. Wow. So this is my first time using it. Like I said, I just got it from a convention. This is a exclusive one that we were given at leadership, so nobody else will have this one. I need to wipe my finger, I already got it again. And with the shimmers, you have to really work to make sure you get them through that silk screen. And I don't know why that is, but when you're inking, maybe not as much, but on this for sure. And I've learned something that you're supposed to like really hold tight on this when you're squeegeeing, squeegeeing it off the excess to give you that firm, firm, uh, push down on the on the silk screen. So I'm gonna just pull it up and see how we're doing. Oh, it's looking good. Had a little bleed down there, but I'm not worried about that. A little drop there from the H. I can actually touch that up with a brush, but that lets me know how to go with the next section. So I'm just gonna pull this up since it's a small um, small transfer. I can do that. Yes, it is pretty. So I'm just going to keep going. And I am going to pay attention to that edge a little bit more um, this time. Last time I didn't really look at it that much. So I'm just going to keep working it in. And actually right here, I think I'm going to just push down a little bit because I have that ledge to deal with, which I've never had to deal with before. And hopefully, Someone's going out on the side by side. It's Phoenix, uh, Phoenix area of Arizona, so it's the evening and people in my area are outdoors people. They go outside at, at night during the summer and they drive around the neighborhoods in their side by sides or their quads. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up to the top part and I'm gonna actually pull this right now. Oh, it's looking great, I love it. What do you guys think? I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute to show you the, the close up on it. But I really liked the inspirational message of this. You've got this. You know, sometimes in life it's just a little hard, you know? So I changed the name of my uh, business page um, for my people doing chalk couture with me, and I picked the name. Chalk Warriors Unite because we've all had some sort of an issue in life that we're trying to to win from. So what I'm gonna do next, win it, win at. So I'm gonna um, 
take this transfer and I'm going to put it face down in the water. And I'm not going to leave it there too long. Next thing I'm going to do is, and this is for all the people, we have a lot of new people on my team, so I'm just going to do some basics here. Then you take a little paper towel and you want to clean off the lid. Mind you, this is something I'm not good at because I get busy and just kind of like, yeah, yeah, put the lid on before it dries out, you know. You shouldn't do that. Then you just put the lid on. Now, if this was a different paste other than the shimmer, I would probably put a couple of spritz of water in it just to make and stir it a little bit and just to make sure it's nice and liquid, but it's, it's done. So let me show you this board. Whoops. There you go. I don't know if you can see the sparkliness. I'll hold it here for a minute just in case I need to move it because there's a little bit of a delay. So I can see what you're seeing. I don't know if you can see those sparklies, but it's very sparkly. There you go. Alrighty. So I'll put that aside. I really love that. That's cool. I didn't want to put it on a black board because black is, you know, I don't, I didn't think that uh, shimmery would um, pop as much. So let me see. Next, I'm gonna clean this transfer. Let me just put this up here. All right. And it's in a water bath right now. I just want to show you what I do. I'm just going to take it with my hands and try to wash, just wipe the uh, paste off the screen. My biggest concern is where the actual screen is. I don't care if it stains anywhere else, but if it, if it clogs the screen, hey Lisa, how you doing? If it clogs the screen, then I, my next project will be distorted. So then I'm going to scoot it over here. Just going to take a paper towel real quick and just clean it. And I'm going to wipe this other side. Sorry about the side-by-side -side noise outside. There might be an event today that I don't know about. Okay. So next I'm just going to blow dry this for a second. Before I... Maybe I am. making sure that it's bringing the sticky back because the sticky is what I want right I'm gonna take a little bit of a drier paper towel now I've got a little bit still on there I just want to get that one little blob off all right so I'm just gonna dry the front a little bit better I'm gonna lay it down, and if it sticks to itself, if you have a, if you're working with a bigger transfer or any size transfer really, and it sticks to itself, don't panic. Take a deep breath. Go over to the sink and put it in some some water, and you can work it out. You definitely can. There's a piece sticking right there, so let me try something else. Let's see where my wipes are. Hold on. I'm just gonna grab a wipe to get that one little stubborn piece of um, paste off. Alrighty. Oops. Let's see. So I'm trying to figure out what that is. Why that's sticking. Oh, there I got it off. Finally. So if you have to, you can use a Clorox wipe. I generally don't like to use them because I don't like them. It's too much. Um, so I'm going to lay that down. Then I'm going to grab my backer sheet. Remember the backer sheet where I wrote the, the name of the transfer down? Hey Heather. Hey Lisa. So next I'm going to just drop it down there. Put it on. 
guys wouldn't mind sharing and making it public, that would be great. All right, now I'm just gonna smooth it out. Make sure there's no bubbles. The one thing I do is I also take it, after it's got that on, I take one more wipe at it just to make sure there's not anything I, you know, missed and left on there. So then I can put it back in the, back in the transfer um, bag, or I can put it in my portfolio. There's lots of choices. Hey, Heather. How are you doing? Where, where are you from, Heather? You too, Lisa, where are you guys from? All right, so the next project, trying to decide what I wanna do. Probably gonna do the cow. I really like this cow. Let's see, what do I have? Oh no, maybe I'll do this one. All right, we're gonna do the Baked Fresh Farms. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Baked Fresh Daily, I got stuck on the cow. Illinois, are you a designer? Just curious, not that it matters. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're just gonna open it up. And all right. Haley, who's Haley? Sorry, I'm looking at my friend Jody's comments. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut this off. I don't drink coffee, so I will probably use this for something else. Oh, congratulations. Are you loving it, Lisa? I, I love this company. They're great. Okay, so I'm gonna just, uh, they've already scored the lines for me. Use my new transfer scissors. My actual order is in transit. I didn't place that till I got back into town. And uh, it just, I think it was supposed to be here today, but it's probably at the post office tonight, my guess. Oh, hey, Haley. Jody's friend, Haley. That's because you shared it, Jody. Good job. Alrighty. Yep, share the love. If you have any friends that you think would be interested in that, in this, um, in Chalk Tour, just send, you know, share them my video. I don't care. Sharing is caring. All right. So now we're going to write on the back of the transfer, baked fresh. Daily. Some days I write like my mom and some days I will write like my dad. It's a good day if I can write like my mom. Right now it's in the middle. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna stick this on the fuzzy mat. And just see what's happening here. Let's see. Oh, let me move that down. Move that out. So I gotta start thinking of colors. Hmm. First, I'm doing what I, okay. So when you're taking off a transfer the first time, it's easier if you come from the edge normally then if you, and I'm doing it wrong, then if you come from the back. So if you look at my finger, see what I'm doing here? I'm pushing down as I pull and it automatically pulls up that. If I were to come over here and try to pick at this, it would take me hours, trust me, hours. So just put your finger down, pull, and this is a bigger transfer, so we're gonna, oh, see I've already got it stuck to itself, awesome. So it's stuck to itself, no big deal. Pull it down. All right, next we're gonna to wanna to fuzz it a little bit. And fuzzing just means we wanna take some of the sticky away because this is a super sticky one. Actually, it's not that sticky. I'm gonna do it at one and leave it. All right, and the reason we do that is to protect your surface and to protect the transfer. All right, here we go. Lay it there. Now, let me grab a surface. I think I decided to do this on one of our other boards. This is a uh, box ring. So this is a uh, six and a half by 18 and a half box frame. And if you're interested in that, you can go to my website 
Jody, if you could pop my website in there, chocktour.com backslash chalk, the number two, and crafts, that would be great. I would appreciate your assistance. Okay. So we're just gonna open it up. Hey, Sandy, you're back. Or did you never leave? Cindy's the one I was telling you is gonna be at my show, our show, helping me. Um, doing that at the Arizona, no, Maricopa Home and Garden Show in Phoenix slash Glendale. It's at the Cardinal Stadium this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we would love to see you there. Okay, so uh, should I wax or should I not? Oh, uh, I gotta wax. This is a very porous surface and it makes me nervous, so thanks Jody. So I am gonna go ahead and wax this. Just to be cautious. Yes, I thought you left. Cause I was talking about you earlier. I don't know if your ears were ringing. So you just really need a light coat. And, and like I said, this just keeps the, if you did it straight on it without uh, fuzzing or waxing, you could actually um, leave some of the transfer on the board or you could actually um, not be able to erase. So, um, and I'm, an, I'm a person that needs erasing options <laughs> uh, because sometimes I mess it up. And I'm just gonna feel for that waxiness so I don't get too much on this time. Just a little is all that's needed really. See, there's a lot more over here. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna buff it a little bit more. I don't want too much because I want my transfer to adhere. Okay, I feel good about that. You good? We good. It is a chalk couture board. This is our box frame. It's a uh, six by 18. Right? That's what I said. That's what I think it is. It's available on my website, or if you're a designer, it's available on your website or your back office. Okay, I feel like I have wax everywhere now. All right, now I gotta think of colors. Oh. This is where I'm always needing help from my viewers. Okay, start thinking baked fresh. What color do we want? So I've got a, a four inch uh, squeegee that's also available in my, um, on my website if you want to check that out. And I'm just, ooh, see that's really moving. Okay, let me see, I think I'll use the angle bin. I can hear lots of popping, so pretty sure. Yeah, see, these are very loose. Makes me nervous. You're always my virtual assistant, Jody. So Jody and I have been friends. We, we were thinking about it, and I think it's over 10 years the other day. We've been friends, and she's the kind of friend that you can not talk to her. Well, we have the friend, kind of friendship where you're... I cannot talk to her for months, and then... Once we get back on the phone, it's like nothing, no time has passed. She's a good friend. Is that an angry smile, Jody? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh gosh, we had so much fun at convention. I had eight people from my team go this year. Yes, last year it was just me and my upline that went. So I was really thrilled that um, other people decided to come. We just had such a good time. It was so fun getting to know them. Some of them I didn't know that well, but now I do. So I'm thinking, okay, so just to tell you what I did before I got live, what did I do with it? Hold on, hold the phone. Hold on, wait a minute. What the heck did I do with it? 
I made my own brown a minute ago. Oh, there it is. Sort of brown. No, that's not it. What did I do with it? Oh my gosh. This is funny. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. I just had it like moments before we pushed the live button. I was making my own brown. Pretty sure that's not it. Nope. That's weird. I really need it. Where are you? Hello, Mr. Brown. Is it a white? Okay, what did I do with it? Sorry, everybody. I gotta find it because it's specially made for this transfer. Well, heck. took it in by the kitchen. Okay, that's bizarre. Losing my mind. Oh, there it is. No, that's the bad one. Okay, I found it. It's all good. So what I did was I took a white, an old white. So this is a two ounce white that, um, they got rid of two ounce uh, paste um, probably um, last June they got rid of these maybe before that I hope this is the right one no it's not it's right here it's probably right in front of me is that what you're telling me so this is an old paste. So what I did was I added a little bit of bark and uh, I'm stirring it up now. So I'm gonna do that for the, the leaves, I think. Or I could do that for the baked fresh. I need tips, what do you guys want me to do? Help me pick a color. I could do a navy. Hey, watch it, girl. Watch it, Jody. my mind okay so that's for something on here it could be the the leaves I could make the leaves green and then I could do like I could do black any ideas ha <laughs> ah, she's so smart okay I need help I need help I need some help picking colors. Let's see. I do uh, a charcoal color on the baked fresh. I could do. I know jo Jody's gonna say Thai teal. Uh, I could do a bark. I could do a bark for the baked fresh, and then the lighter color for the things. I could do a red baked fresh. Navy and brown. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Okay, now you're confusing me. Brown for the baked fresh. So do the bark here. And then this lighter color for this and then daily. Wrong. <laughs> Let's see. What if I did use a navy? See, that's a midnight sky. I think I've got a navy in here, an older navy. Retired. Nope, not in that stack. Sorry, I got a lot of stacks here. Black and bark. I like black and bark. Oh, brown. Brown, okay. All right, I'm gonna just have to decide, but you guys have all good, good ideas. I like the brown idea because I could do brown right here the darker brown would look good I guess whatever I do I need to put a lid on this this thing's so old <laughs> but it's still usable oh yeah I don't have a light oh I see Nantucket I do have Nantucket somewhere so I could do Nantucket And brown or I could do navy and brown 
or I could do navy, Nantucket, and brown. What do you guys think? Oh wait, I'm patient. That's not true, I'm not very patient at all. <laughs> if you knew me, you would know I'm not a patient person. Oh, sorry, I keep banging on the thing. My bad. I kind of like the navy idea. But I also like the black. And that's not even a black, oh yeah it is. It's one I changed from black to gray. Okay, so we're gonna go navy. I'm gonna do navy up here, Nantucket here, and then brown. Done. It's not really navy. It's midnight sky if you are a chalk tour person and want to know exactly what I'm using. It's midnight sky. I forgot to wash my squeegees. So I just washed my squeegees. I, I put them in a thing of water, and uh, that's it. You know? So now I'm stirring it up. I'll get these all stirred up and ready. There's navy. The brown I stirred earlier, so it's, ooh, it needs, it needs more water. It's an Arizona thing. We dry here, we dry. Yeah, so I'm gonna use that navy dory. I think it'll be good. I'm still pondering the Nantucket. I don't know if it fits. I may just do navy and brown. Make it a two color thing. Okay. That's a little thick, but I better spray it some more. So how's everybody doing tonight? Are you got any projects you're working on or anything like that? I've lost my viewers. <laughs> I think I went from 13 to five. That's okay. You either love me or you don't, I guess. Okay. There we go. And it probably could be the fact that I was, like, confused for a minute. Okay, Man Nantucket may be dead. We'll try it. See if we can revive it. Nantucket's dead. Sorry, there's not much in here anyway, but it's it's dead. So Nantucket's out. We get we're down to brown, and uh, unless I wanted to use a tie teal, sorry, I got a big stack of paste here. No, that's too bright. I think. Okay. Oh, good. Well, you will be great at your one-on-one. -on -one. I have complete faith in you, Dory. You're the bomb.com. Okay. So we're going to do navy. Okay. That seems a little too runny. I may have sprayed that too many times. So I'm just literally smearing it on like peanut butter. And when you do this, <laughs> don't dip your finger in it like I just did. Seriously. Okay, so I'm just making it fairly thick. I want it to go through the screen. I hope I'm not putting so much that it's bleeding. going here so I'm gonna squeegee off the excess here in a minute and blow dry it and then we'll go on to the next level here 
So with Chalkology paste, you need to make sure that it doesn't dry on you because if it dries, what it does is it stays on top of that um, silk screen and doesn't transfer through to the... Okay. I'm gonna have to work faster, I think. I think I'll just peel a little bit up as I go. I'm worried that it's gonna dry because I am in a very hot room right now. Only because I'm on one of those uh, energy plans where, well actually it's 8 o'clock, I could turn my air conditioning back down. So I try to save a little money that way. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this up right here, right now. working and what I'm doing is I'm just pushing down and pulling towards me with a little pressure you have to have some pressure otherwise it's not going to work you need to push that paste down through the silk screen okay if that doesn't make sense you can always PM me or ask me in the comments but that's the way to get the best result okay almost put that in the brown Ooh, class mistake if you've ever taught a class and had somebody do that it's not fun okay so we're just gonna peel it down yay look at that even Adele can do it awesome okay so next I'm gonna blow dry this after I wipe my finger on something because I've got blue all over my finger goodness seriously seriously anyway I'm still sort of on a high from convention because I just had a blast with my team it was so much fun so much fun okay here we go and what I'm doing here is just protecting um, so if I were to lay this down, it may actually pull some of the paint, some of the paste up with it if I laid it back down. But if I have it dry, I'm pretty good, to, pretty good to go. So okay. And I don't want this too hot, right? I don't want to blow dry it when it's too hot. It's pretty dry. Okay. So the next, oh, I love that font. That looks awesome. Don't you guys love that? I love it. Okay, put some hearts in the comments if you love this. Not the emojis, in the comments. I wanna see if you love it. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it back down and I'm not gonna push down on it. I'm just gonna let it go. Let it go. Okay, now I need to decide what I'm doing for the daily. What did we decide for the daily? Is it gonna be the brown or is it gonna be more of the blue? And I know we talked about the lighter brown for the wheat, for the wheat. I'll get that and stir it while I'm waiting. Hey, thanks, Lisa. Yay. Yay, thank you, Dory. That way I can see is actually leaving the heart. Sometimes you can't see if you just hit, a, hit the emojis. All right, so this is a mixture of colors right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's chunky because this is an older one that got a little bit dry, but it's still very usable. All right, okay. So I'm gonna put my lid on this blue before it gets dried out. And I'm gonna drop this in there, okay. Now, <laughs> take this and clean off this lid real quick. Sorry, I just gotta do this or I won't, or my paste will all dry up, but it's part of the process. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump the squeegee in my water. I've got two water baths. I've got one for squeegees and stir sticks, and I've got one for transfers. And I'm gonna give it a little squirt with some water. So in your sprayers, you wanna use distilled water. And I'm gonna make sure there's a good tight seal on that because you don't want any air to dry that out. Oh my goodness, look, I made a mess right here. It'll wipe off. 
Okay. Keep stirring. I'm gonna try it now, because I don't want that to... Oh, I'll get it later. All right. I'll get the rest of it later, but I didn't want it. What happened was I think I must have, who knows? It's a dill. <laughs> ah, too funny. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. And I'm gonna do the dark brown first because it's the thicker font. And I'm going to use Just gonna load it up pretty thick and at this point it's just getting smeared on okay smearing it smearing it okay and then oh, I'm a wreck that's all I'm saying I'm a wreck okay that one over there Find a squeegee for this guy. Okay, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna put this one on thick too. And then I'm just gonna pull it up as I go and squeegee off the excess as I go. So you see some chunks coming off in there. I don't care, no big deal. Okay, so now we're gonna again push down and pull towards me. I should say we aren't I am okay and now that I've done that I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up because again if it dries while it's sitting there it will pull off oh look at that yeah 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 even Adele can do this I love it okay now I'm gonna squeegee off the excess on the brown that actually feels like it's drying so it's making me nervous that may pull up. It's okay, there's no chalk emergencies. There are no chalk emergencies. So I have a little bleed right there. I'm not worried about that. I can clean that up. And then I'm gonna just finish scraping off the excess over here. Sorry, you probably can't see what I'm doing because I'm working left to right and the camera is on my left. Okay. Done. I'm going to go throw this in the sink right now. I'll be right back. Let me know what you think about it in the comments if I need to go back and fix that. Um, make the branches darker or what I need to do. Alright, hold on. Give me one second. got to get water on this. What do you guys think? Okay. I'm gonna push it over here for a second while I clean this transfer. Just want to show you how to do that. I'm gonna lay out a little towel here. First thing I'm gonna do is take my um, 
board eraser. These are a little bit better than, well, they're quite a bit better than the magic erasers. They don't fall apart as easy. So I'm just gonna take this and wipe off the excess paste that didn't come off when I was um, washing it. Then I'm gonna, oops, turn it over. Got some writing on there, oh well. And I'm gonna just wipe this off real quick. I saw somebody doing it with the board eraser a lot more than I normally do, so I've kind of changed and I started doing that. So next you wanna leave your um, transfer uh, sticky side up for a second. And, um, wow, it's sticking to my Norwex cloth, that's funny. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of a paper towel and just do one quick, just to get some water off before I put it back on the trans, the trans, the backer, the backer sheet. Okay, and it's a lot easier to line it up this way than to take your sheet, lay it down, and then put the transfer on it. Just trial and error. <coughs> so I'm gonna turn it over. I just wanna make sure it's uh, without wrinkles and it's not. So I'm gonna have to fix it. I have to start over here. Here's what not to do. <laughs> here, maybe I need to start on this end. It's definitely not going down the way I want it to. So, so much easier with the small little A size transfer. <laughs> Brother. Keeping it real, folks. Keeping it real. All right. So next I'm gonna just, okay, so I've got a spot right here that is absolutely level with the backer sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this all up to that spot. Then I'm gonna sort of give it a little tension and lay it back down. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is take my four inch squeegee to it to get the air out. One more time, sorry. I, I need to show this to people because I have a lot of new people on my team and they need to see how to do this. So, if you would like to join my team, please just comment with a join in the comments, drop a, drop a join. If you would like to be um, invited to my VIP group, which is for non-designers, just type in VIP. I have to warn you, it's a new group. I'm just, well, it's been there for a while, but I've never had a lot of activity in it. So I'm, I'm just, now that my team is growing and my business is, you know, sort of taken off, I, I wanna, wanna do everything I should be doing. So there we go. It's ready to go for the next time. And if I'm worried about it, I can always take this eraser to it again, but um, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. So next, I'm gonna show you how to fix what I messed up. No chalk emergencies, right? Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take our little Swisper here. This is just a, a sturdy, Q-tip kind of thing. I think it's for makeup, but you know, I'm not the one to ask about that. And I'm just gonna get it a little damp and then just come in here and clean this up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. There we go. There you go, good as, good as new. Now I'm gonna probably take a, well maybe I'll try the magic eraser on this. I think I need a little something different with the little, it's got a little rougher. Let me try a, a wipe. But um, those are the two projects I had for the night. Like I said, if you wouldn't mind sharing this on uh, public Facebook somewhere. 
Go talk emergencies, that's right. Or if you have anyone that you know who might be interested, please give them my information or hook us up somehow. I'd love to talk to them about Chalk Tour. It's been a blessing in so many people's lives and I'm so grateful for this business. I'm grateful for the, <clears throat> okay, woo, that game. Grateful for the many friendships I've, I've gained through Chalk Tour. There you go. You know, when you're taken out of a work environment, because I was in a car wreck a few years ago and I can't work in healthcare anymore. Um, that's, that's your, you know, your engagement is that, uh, uh, that connection to people at work and helping people. So I was constantly around people and now it's so different. But Chalk Tour has brought people back into my life. So that's a good thing. So before I close these up, so Lisa, if I wanted to make this permanent, I could. Honestly, I don't ever, I rarely, rarely ever seal my boards because when you want to take something off, you really have to want to take it off. So unless it's going to be out in the rough, rough, even if it's out in the, the weather, it would take a lot of water and scrubbing to get it off. So I don't polyurethane a lot. I have other people like D James and a few other people on my team who polyurethane everything. So it just, it's a personal choice is what I can say the best, I guess. It's really more of a personal choice. Um, but any polyurethane spray would work to seal it, Lisa. Um, and I have some, I just have never done it because most of my stuff is kept inside. And uh, I don't, when I sell stuff at shows, I don't, I don't polyurethane it because they may be a, a new designer that wants to go in and change the board or something. So next I'm just getting these ready to put, you know, put away. So I'm putting a couple of spritz of water inside the container. And then again, I need to just wipe off the lid a little bit where it connects to the uh, rim. And I'm, you bet, Lisa. Who's, who's your? Uh, who signed you up? Is it anybody I might know? Alrighty. So then we're gonna put the squeegees, like I said, in a water bath. And thank you, Lisa, for joining. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter who your upline is. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're here watching the video and uh, I hope you're having fun with Chalk Tour. Have you got your kit yet, Lisa? Oh yeah, Star, okay, cool. Yeah, she, we're on the same team. Cool. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we're on the same team. Anyway, thank you for uh, joining. I appreciate that. So now I'm done with the bark. I'm going to put the stir stick in the water bath. So Chalk Couture has stir sticks, but they're kind of flimsy. So I only use those at shows. Hey, Vicky Lee, or Vic Lee. How are you and where are you from? Um, so I order mine from Amazon for my personal use and for shows I use the Chalk Couture stir sticks. I don't know why they're so flimsy, I, I, but they're just, they're just not effective for what I need. So, um, that's what I do. Hold on one second. Let me get this lid on. I've talked too long. My computer just went into sleep mode. That's funny. Give me a second. Hold on. Not, maybe it died okay that's it for me if you have any questions just go ahead and put them in the comments oh you're near Seattle cool I'm gonna be up in uh, Puyallup I actually lived in Tacoma for about 10 years I'm gonna be in Puyallup um, I think it's in November doing a show up there so um, who are you with Vic are you on anybody's team or just checking it out 
I love Chalk Tour, it's awesome. And let me just do this and you guys can see the artwork behind me. There you go. You guys have a good night. Oh yeah, sure. How, how did you hear about this? Did somebody share it or just curious? Oh, cool. Yay, Dory. Awesome. So Dory's amazing. You should talk to her. But I will be up in Puyallup. Uh, let me tell you exactly when. Um, let's see. Give me one second. November 20th through the 23rd, we'll be doing an event up in Puyallup. So it's called the Quilt Craft and Sew Festival. And I would love to meet you. But yes, definitely talk to Dory. She's amazing. She can hook you up. My hair is not as spiky as normal. Anyway, that's it. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me show you my finished projects. There's one. Um, since Vic joined late, baked fresh daily. And then um, it's actually a big event and it, it's not put on by me. Yeah, I, I yeah I remember because I used to live uh, there you go in Tacoma like I said for ten years so that's awesome. So I will the, they don't uh, create the events the Quilt Craft and Sew Company they'll create an event probably a month or so um, before the event. You live in Puyallup? Cool. Awesome. <coughs> So I'll, hopefully you can come by and meet me, and uh, but definitely talk to Dory or talk to me either way. I know you're Dory's now, so that's awesome. Anyway, thank you very much, and we will talk to you soon. If you have any questions, Vic, just let me know. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. And don't forget to visit my website. Thank you.